Ultimate Combo. Welcome everyone to another episode of Twisted Gaming TV. Today we're going to talk about the PlayStation 5. Well, everybody thought it was a reveal, but it wasn't. Um, it was more for developers or whatever. Um, but a lot of great info. A lot of people, you know, was talking a lot of crap on the uh, live feed. Very disrespectful. You know, a lot of people were putting ZZZ -Z -Z like they were falling asleep. It's so stupid. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was about an hour long or whatever. And a lot of great info. And it uh, made me smarter than I am today. Or was in the past. So let's go over it a little bit and what I think about it compared to like the PlayStation 4 Pro and the the new Xbox. So let's let's go. All right, so let's get to the nitty gritty, okay? So here's a comparison between PlayStation 4 Pro and PlayStation 5, okay? Price was PS4 Pro 399, so I want to say PlayStation 5 will probably be about 500, if not a little bit more. Uh, the dimensions, we don't know because they never showed a picture or whatever video of it. But the uh, milestone of the comparison is beautiful. Um, we, they're both uh, eight cores. Um, two cores at 3.5 gigahertz on the PlayStation 5. Um, uh, the GPU uh, of the PlayStation 4 Pro was 4.2 teraflops. And now the PlayStation 5 has an amazing 10.28 teraflops, uh, 336 uh, CUs at 2.23 gigahertz. Now that can be topped out at 3.5 or 3.6 gigahertz, I'm thinking, uh, if they want to or whatever. Anyways, the storage was a 1 terabyte, 2 terabyte, which was the 500 million uh, PlayStation 4. They're, they're talking about on the two terabyte and this one has a 825 gigabyte uh, the ps4 pro had a hdd drive the new one has a sdd drive now everything we what else we don't know uh, res, resolution support was 4k and now it can get up to 8k so let's go over to the playstation 5 versus xbox series okay so you know, it's not that big of a deal um, when it comes to teraflops, in my opinion, because it's not really off that much. Um, so the the PlayStation 5 has two cores, um, eight, eight core, um, so does the Xbox. Um, now here's where it gets interesting. Okay, so the PlayStation 5 um, GPU is at 10... 0.28 teraflops okay and the xbox series is 12 teraflops well see that's only like a 1.7 teraflops different you know and i really don't see it being that big of a deal being a uh, a game machine my deal is is the new xbox is basically just a pc hell it even looks like a pc it's a big ass block right um and i always consider uh playstation more of a gaming console, not an entertainment console, you know, like Xbox was with the Xbox One. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't think it's really a big of a deal. I don't think you're going to really see a big of a difference um, on the on the graphic wise. Now, what here's what I like: um, the uh, SD, SD, SSD drive on the uh, PlayStation uh, 5 can shoot out 5.5 gigabytes raw, okay? And then the, the new Xbox Series X is only 2.4 gigabytes raw. So PlayStation 5 wins on that just because the loading times will be way much faster, probably just instant on the PlayStation 5. They were also talking about, you know, when you uh, do game updates uh, on the PlayStation 5, instead of, you know, waiting 30 minutes or whatever, kind of like the PlayStation 4 or, or whatever, uh, 15 minutes or whatever, it'll just be pretty much, boom, instant. 
Um, that's what I'm really excited about on the PlayStation 5. Um, another thing is uh, they're both pretty much, uh, uh, you know, one terabyte. Of course, Sony's a little less or whatever. Now, the Xbox, you can buy expansion um, uh, flash drives that, you know, you can put in the machine. And we pretty what much don't know much about the PlayStation 5 one, but they did say you can use external hard drives, which, I mean, hell, if you can get a external hard drive that's, you know, uh, real big, I mean, you know, you can do more with that than the Xbox. Um, since you don't have to buy the Xbox uh, uh, terabytes or whatever, you can probably go more on the PlayStation 5. Um, like I said, they're, they're uh, both 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, so that's a plus. Um, but what, what stands out about Sony more than Xbox, to me, on their announcements, Xbox, they just put the specs on their on their website and it was like you know send everybody an email and have a great day you know sony actually had a 45 to a minute hour uh of mark coming on here and explaining how everything worked and you know he, the video the live stream got so much hate and stuff which was stupid because i really enjoyed the presentation it was amazing to me to like learn all that stuff because I don't know all these numbers and stuff. But when he was talking, you know, I was like, wow. Um, another thing on the PlayStation 5, uh, it's going to have 3D audio. Now, I don't think Xbox will have that because that's probably a Sony deal. Um, but we don't have a date on either consoles, uh, you know, in, in stone. It's, you know, holiday 2020. Um, and we don't even know what the uh, PlayStation 5 looks like, you know. But I like how Sony is just uh, doing different than Xbox, where Xbox just shows the console and just slaps the specs, you know, out there. And Sony, they're just dragging it and just making you exciting, you know, and just dragging it out, you know. And, you know, it, it's just more exciting with the PlayStation uh, now, another thing that, I, you know, of course I'm a PlayStation fanboy, but I'm given both, you know, stuff because I'll buy both systems, okay? So it doesn't matter. But I feel that PlayStation will have more exclusives because they're always like that. Now, Xbox has their good stuff like Forza and, you know, some of their other like Halo and stuff. But, you know, Sony has Spider-Man, I mean, and all these other great games. But I think it's a win-win for the gaming community on whichever side you're on, e even if you buy both of them. I think it's, they're going to be great systems, and I'm very excited and uh, all that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I didn't want to make it too long. I just wanted to spit it out there. But uh, go check out um, uh, PlayStation on, um, on YouTube, and you can watch the whole live feed, though. It was very interesting. I really enjoyed it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching Twisted Gaming TV. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Always comment back. Till next video, see you later. And comment below and let me know what you think. Later.